How is different the Greek American audience and the, and the Greek audience? How do you feel when you sing for people that are Greeks but of diaspora and Greeks that are in Greece? You know, um, the difference is um, is just uh, geographical. You know, I think uh, people are people, and the uh, the experience is the same. Music uh, does join. Uh, the whole world. I have had the pleasure of performing in the States many, many yeah. times. I've done more than 150 concerts at oh, least wow. uh, in the States. A uh, whole tour with Sarah Brightman. So tell us a few words about your uh, new album and the songs that you have in it. Uh, my new album is called Beautiful Things. Uh, I'm very happy because, uh, it, it, you know, the, 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 the through uh, story of the whole album is love. And love is the greatest gift that one can give to uh, another person. And I think uh, beautiful things is, w is what we wish for. You know, we wish for clarity and, uh, and, and, and beauty. And I think beauty, you have to truly uh, be aware of beauty all around you. And this is what I was raised to believe. I, be I was raised to believe in beautiful things and beautiful people, beautiful hearts. Um, and, um, you know, my album has been released since uh, last November. Uh, Greece was the first place that it was released because I, I feel a loyalty to Greek people and the Greek spirit and I am proud to be Greek. We see you performing more in America. Do you have this uh, geographical area as one of your goals in the future to maybe make your base here as well? Um, I have a second base uh, apart from uh, Athens. You know, New York uh, is a second home for me. This is where I studied at the Juilliard School, you know, 92 to 95. Uh, I know a lot of people, a lot of friends. And my mentor is uh, actually a, a great New Yorker, Marilyn Horn. And, uh, and of course, this is um, a, a, an amazing year, even though it's very difficult, I understand, you know, back home. And there's a lot of situations that we need to, to solve and, and, uh, and, and see, uh, you know, and see ourselves through this uh, situation. But uh, um, it is important for me to be, to be here at this, uh, at this time. Do you have any new projects in America? I'm, I'm performing in Santo Domingo in a few days' time. Uh, we are uh, releasing the album in... Uh, uh, in the States uh, next September of 2012. Uh, of course, Mexico is, uh, is our next stop in, uh, in March. Uh, I'm not sure exactly the date, but uh, um, Mexico, Australia, Poland, London, uh, you know, just a, a few places uh, uh, around the world, Latin America, of course, and, uh, and of course, uh, the States, you know, I hope to be able to tour. You do music that I think it's hard to do. You didn't take, you know, the easy path. You do some no. songs that are really easier to uh, actually sell to the masses. Let's put yeah. it that way. Did you ever feel, you know, the temptation to say, do you know what? I want to have a pop hit, something that maybe will be a little bit outside of your genre, but will be more commercial. Um, you know, uh, I was born with a classical voice, and uh, and this is what I do. So I can't change my nature, but uh, but in a sense, I, I love the idea of communicating with a bigger audience. And I think classical crossover music did just that for me. You know, uh, working with Justin Hayward from the Moody Blues, uh, working with uh, with a lot of people in the in the pop uh, world. Um, you know, recording with some of the greatest uh, singers. You know. Um, I am I'm very happy to be able to bridge the two worlds, you know, the classical world and, uh, you know, the pop uh, uh, industry, of course. And uh, when I was signed to Sony, uh, there was the great uh, Tommy Motola and the great uh, Peter Gelb, who's now the, the head of the Metropolitan Opera. But uh, once again, that was a, a great uh, bridge of the two worlds. And I hope to be able to carry that through for the rest of my life. And what is maybe a duet that is one of your dreams that you haven't done yet? Who is the senior that you say, do you know what, I want to work with this guy, you know, and you haven't done it yet? Uh, I think uh, Barbara Streisand was one of my, uh, um, uh, my, my dream duets as a, as a child, of course. Uh, when they asked me uh, at Sony, when I first signed uh, uh, with Sony Classical, they said, who would you like to work with? Uh, Barbara Streisand was um, otherwise engaged, or maybe not quite as, uh, as committed to... Uh, to performing a, a duet with me on the first album, and sometimes I dream, but Justin Hayward is one of the greatest rockers of all time, you know, who composed Nights in White Satin, and, uh, and we had the pleasure of singing the song to, together as a duet on my first international album. <laughs> 